Hi everyone, uh, it's Global Scholarships and I'm your host As. I hope you're doing well, I hope uh, you're having a great time. Um, in Turkey it's a little cold around this time, uh, it's really getting cold and there are a lot of people who are just sick. Uh, I was kind of a little sick uh, the other day but kind of got better. Um, Eamon, although he's not from Turkey, uh, he's a little under the weather today so he'll not be joining us. Uh, so you're stuck here with me. Um, I'll do our best to I'll do my best to answer your questions but in terms of scholarships I'm kind of a layman so th there's a good chance I'll be as clueless as you are today so yeah we are today we are a little stuck with each, each, each other here's the thing today we are trying something new um, instead of whereas we usually I picked five good scholarships every week and then like we were showcasing those scholarships that like I usually try to pick the best ones that cover the most things uh, but now we are I want to do like some specific schools and go through every scholarship uh, they have because I thought like even though um, yeah it is good to go through some good scholarships that will cover everything um, that you might need I think it's also like beneficial for someone who has a specific school in mind to get go and see what options do they have also because there are a lot of schools that have many scholarships but not all of them are very comprehensive so uh, today I'm gonna go through all the scholarships and as you'll see there are a couple of comprehensive scholarships like that covers the entire tuition fees and quite good stipends but uh, like some of them are just smaller scholarships that uh, that's still very uh, beneficial for international students so yeah um, we'll see, see that too and I believe that this will bring this will give you a better like more uh, realistic uh, understanding of how uh, this university has like the scholarships work so yeah today we'll do that and um, during this time if you have any uh, questions about scholarships or in general uh, studying abroad or the school uh, which is University of Oklahoma if you have any questions feel free to ask them um, I'll do my best to answer them for you uh, but again I there's a good chance that I will be as clueless as you are about them so uh, at any point you can ask any questions that you might have um, so without further ado I don't want to waste your time with a long intro so let's get to it okay today we are seeing the University of Oklahoma okay it's a it's a university in uh, it's a university in, in USA so if you want to study in USA it's a very good school uh, it's a very good school as you can see uh, here it is it's in the it's in the uh, middle of America not very close to um, West Coast or East Coast but it's quite close to like uh, Texas uh, like Dal Dallas and Kansas City so like it's 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 kind of a central uh, place so if you want to like see Texas or Mexico or uh, other places it's a good it might be a good option and uh, the university okay the university is a very good university uh, it's specifically quite big on sports like they have a, a sports team like Sooners uh, which is one of the best uh, college teams in United States uh, so like if you're interested in that this might be a this might be interesting for you as you can see uh, it's kind of a it's kind of an old and like a good school with some great alumni uh, like a, a, lot of, a lot of politicians actors activists and stuff as you can see sooner schooner uh, yeah they, they have a big they have a great um, sports team American football team so yeah if you're interested in that this might be a good option for you now <clears throat> let's get to the scholarships uh, but again if you have any questions at any point um, am I, is my voice too loud I don't, I don't know. Um, at any point if you have any questions uh, just feel free to ask them okay so as you can see um, this school has 29,000 students and six different scholarships now four of these scholarships are for um, undergraduate students uh, two of them are for graduate students two out of six are quite comprehensive for every 
like every type of student it doesn't matter like regardless of what you are studying um the rest the four um like they are a bit more specific scholarships for example like if you are studying if you study engineering or if you study maybe law and then those like those four scholarships like smaller scholarships are for those specific programs so we'll see them um but yeah uh, you can learn about how to apply to this school uh, by going here it's actually um right now i am doing a tutorial i'm making a tutorial on how to apply to university of oklahoma and uh, oklahoma uses um there are a couple of options on hang on can i okay there are a couple of options on how to apply to uh, university of oklahoma one of them is common application now if you do not know common application uh, is a platform that you can use to uh, like to apply to more than thousand uh, more than a thousand schools universities and um like a lot of them are in usa uh, as you can see more than a thousand colleges um and we kind of made uh, made one tutorial on how to apply to another school that you can use common application so it's quite easy uh, quite an easy uh, process so if you're interested in studying in, in uh, university of oklahoma uh, it's it will be up on next uh, wednesday so you can check it out other than that you can check uh, check out the like um the whole the university from this page like applications um important dates uh, deadlines and etc there are quite a lot of hmm, i don't know i didn't see this one actually quite a lot of um, information here for people who are interested in uh, studying in Oklahoma the well it's a university in the uh, United States so uh, tuition fees are a little high like 30,000 for um, bachelors and around 50,000 for on average for uh, masters and PhD as you can see uh, like the master's tuition can vary between 20 and $77,000 so yeah i mean if you are interested in this having a plan for like sponsorship um maybe like another scholarship there are also other scholarships too uh, that would be great because um these these um these tuition fees can get quite high like um for a lot of people this will not be very affordable anyway so again we have um six scholarships in total and four of them is for undergraduates. Hang on. Let's see, okay. Four of them is for undergraduates, and two is to are for uh, graduate school students. Now, uh, let's start with undergraduate scholarships. Okay. The first one is diversity and inclusion program scholarship. You can click here. This is oh, hang on. By the way, mm, almost forgot. Let me just share this page on uh, our live stream. Okay this is if you do not know anything about our website um, our website just uh, global scholarships gives you great information on like how to apply to scholarships to find scholarships um, and we have like pages for as you can see pages for different scholarships different types of scholarships or we also have pages for just for a university as you can see this page this uh, web page is pretty much contain pretty much contain everything it contains everything that you might need uh, like from the like the population to number of scholarships to like bachelors and masters tuitions and application processes and all all the scholarships that um that are suitable for students so these are these are very comprehensive uh pages uh, so if you're interested you can check these out okay uh, so and you can see come here and see all the other different all that uh, all the different scholarships and you can just click here to get more information on that specific scholarship so this is diversity and inclusion program for uh, in four bachelors now this is partial funding and this is again for specific programs like computer science engineering geology and geophysics okay now this uh, this is kind of a vague um, statement <laughs> varying amounts uh, a varying amount of um, coverage award um, <clears throat> so the criteria the the scholarship criteria is you must be enrolled in Galilee College of Engineering at University 
so this is the engineering college of university of oklahoma so if you are in like uh, in any of these programs you're already in this uh, like engineering college so yeah uh, you need to be in one of these programs is the criteria here and then uh, you can go here you can see under the eligibility criteria you have this diverse and inclusion program scholarship page you can click here and go to the, the website like scholarship website of the university to get more even more information and you can see you can see here we have incoming engineering student scholarships so this is the web page of Gallagher College of Engineering um, you can see here we have first year engineering scholarships which we'll see in a minute and then we have diversity and inclusion first year scholarship now this doesn't um, I gotta say this doesn't okay um, some of these scholarships are quite vague um, like we have more scholarships like this um, like they just they like uh, just a varying amount and they don't give a lot of information here too so um, like it would be better if they put some like maybe a couple of example stu exemplary students like how much they earned uh, through this award so uh, yeah you can see this is for first-year students uh, it's a very competitive scholarships uh, very sc competitive scholarship um, the deadline to apply is December the 15th as you can see this is pretty much the entire um, entire information they give you about this scholarship so yeah um, like it's a it's a it's kind of a like basic scholarship uh, like it kind kind of depends uh, on your like need and merit so this might be like you might uh, interpret this as like financial need and merit so <clears throat> yeah uh, this is diversity and inclusion program which is kind of interesting because as you can see there is like there were not a lot about um, diversity and inclusion like maybe it's just it's because just uh, it's for international students it's called um, diversity and uh, inclusion program I'm not sure uh, like a little more uh, further uh, inf information would be useful okay so this is the first one diversity and inclusion program and the second one is J Clarence Carter scholarship let's click on this scholarship page and learn more now as you can see this is for bachelors this is quite straightforward forward um, this is like this gives you 1400 US dollars so it's not like it doesn't like cover your tuition fee or give you a living stipend but I believe like if you if you are in any of these programs this will give you uh, a nice amount for like relocation fee uh, to cover your relocation uh, expenses because a lot of scholarships do not really give you uh, and like a relocation coverage so this might be good for that as you can see it's partially funded uh, there are you, there are no specific uh, eligibility criteria here you just need to be a bachelor student uh, in University of Oklahoma you uh, can click here to get more even more information as you can see uh, we have here scholarship opportunities and this is J. Clarence Carter scholarship it's given more than 20 people uh, the amount is seven hundred to fourteen hundred dollars um like you just need to be one of these in one of these programs astronomy physics astrophysics and engineering physics hang on is that all astronomy physics um yeah engineering physics i, I guess okay so the deadline is march march 15th and it's available to all undergraduate students again not a very large scholarship um, but it's quite useful like if you are already planning to go to University of Oklahoma for one of these programs it, it might be quite useful uh, for like covering your relocation like airfare ticket or other like travel expenses so it might be good for that uh, this was our second scholarship um, in University of Oklahoma now the third um, it's the first year engineering scholarship we already see saw this one we've seen this one um, uh, on the page it's again partial funding it's for engineering obviously for engineering first year engineering scholarship um, like again it covers an award 
of varying amount. Now we'll see about that in a minute. So again, you just need to be a student enrolled in Gallagher College of Engineering. Okay. So if you are like, if you like, it doesn't have to be, you just does, don't have to just uh, be in engineering program uh, you have to be in the Gallagher and College of Engineering which I guess have more than has more than one uh, engineering program so we can get more information here uh, again we actually saw this one here when we were looking at diversity and inclusion scholarship so yeah um, you must uh, have applied to the university uh, the engineering program and as you can see Scholarships are competitive for students, demonstrating strong academic merit, leadership, community service, co curricular activities, and financial need. Now, uh, when it says financial need, it kind of like it's somewhat like the uh, financial aid scholarship, like financial need scholarships. So, yeah, um, I guess you get it based on your merit uh, and like leadership and community service, but then the amount uh, you get is kind of determined based on your financial needs which is what i'm getting from this one so yeah uh this is like this has the potential of covering quite a lot of your expenses if you're an engineering student um so yeah if you're interested this might be a good scholarship for you again this this is the first year engineering scholarship and <clears throat> oh hang on i didn't look at the let's see again okay uh, there is no sp separate application needed for this program for the scholarship you just apply for the uh, university the admission to the university and it's pretty much done uh, you'll automatically be considered it doesn't mean you automatically get the scholarship by the way uh, but it means that you will be automatically uh, considered based on your merit so okay this is three of six scholarships done um, so at this point I want to take like a minute break uh, a minute of lull maybe in this in the live stream for people who may have any questions so if you want to ask any questions you can ask them now also if you have any schools that you are interested in uh, like of seeing their scholarship scholarship opportunities so um yeah that might be uh like just let us know and we can consider them in the future hang on let me see something i was here no okay i i guess it was Okay, never mind. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Uh, so, so then I'll move on. We don't have any questions right now. That looks like, okay. So, the our fourth scholarship, Freshman International Scholarships. Again, as I said, um, like they have one for both uh, uh, undergraduate and graduate uh, students, one comprehensive scholarship, one one comprehensive scholarship for each and then they have more specific scholarships like the ones we saw are for like uh, engineering astrophysics and etc there were school specific scholarships and this is the very like the most comprehensive scholarship they have for uh, undergraduate students as you can see this is for bachelors doesn't have any specific nationality doesn't have any specific subject um, and it covers, it gives you an around $28,000, which, if you remember, is pretty much the same as the tuition fee, average tuition fee. So, <clears throat> sorry. So, if you get this scholarship, um, you pretty much uh, cover your um, tuition fee. Right? Okay. Um, now, this has uh, a specific eligibility criteria. A, this is kind of a, like not quite merit based, but you have to have a standardized test score, an ACT score ranging between 24, 25 to 31, 
or an SAT score range between 160 uh, to 1200 or like 400, 1400. Okay, so let's, we can see the uh, scholarship page here. <clears throat> yeah, you can see here, um, like it gives you um, based on your qualification, which is the score, your uh, standardized test score, uh, like non-resident merit award, academic achievement award, um, university scholarship, distinguished, distinguished scholar, or award of excellence. And it's like an increasing amount, like from $28,000 to uh, $64,000. And um, yeah, like there is for transfer international scholarships too. Um, but like at, if you have 1,300, like 1,390 points SAT, um, you get like sixty-four thousand dollars worth of uh, financial aid, which is quite good. Like if you want to uh, study here, and they have the same for other uh, people too, not international uh, students. But yeah, okay. So this is the comprehensive scholarship they have for uh, undergraduates. Doesn't matter like your nationality or your um, subject. Doesn't matter if you are interested in studying here. Um, and you have a good a SAT score, good ACT score, uh, you can just get this. And again, there's no separate application for this one. You just apply it to the university and you'll automatically automatically be considered for this scholarship. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, the Freshman International, Freshman International Scholarship. And that was the fourth scholarship. Now these, uh, like these four scholarships, were the ones for undergraduate students. Now we have um, two other scholarships for graduate students. As you can see, uh, one of them is graduate assistantships. Again, this is the comprehensive scholarship for uh, graduate students. Let's see this one. Again, this is full funding. This is for mas masters and PhD students all nationalities and all subjects there are no specific subjects there are no specific nationalities if you are like planning to do your master's or phd in university of oklahoma uh, and apply for this now we've done graduate assistantships before so this is pretty much the same it's like a kind of like a full-time job not kind of like a part-time job actually uh, but we'll get to the um, details in a minute so we have a tuition fee waiver a minimum annual salary of $13,000, which is kind of like a minimum wage. And of course, the most important thing, uh, health insurance. So like you also have like kind of like sick leaves and etc. It's like it's like a job. So you have those uh, kind of securities as well. Um, you have health insurance and a salary and a fee waiver, of course. Now, uh, to be able to apply for this, um, you, need, you need to be enrolled in at least five credit hours and you need to have a English, an English language certification for teaching assist. Like this is GTA, meaning graduate teaching assistantships. So yeah, um, you can get more information um, here. There, there, like there's quite a lot of information here. This is the most comprehensive um, page I've seen for uh, graduate assistantships, like from payroll information. Uh, like how to solve the issue of payroll um, to like qualifying here you can as you can see you you can uh, you need to have at least a minimum uh, 0.50 FTA which FTE which, which means um, full-time equivalent so like if where you are full-time work hours like full-time is 40 hours you need to uh, at least work for 20 hours a week so this is which means like 0.5 FTE, okay? But you can uh, work for up to, like it's kind of uh, up to you. Uh, you can work for up to, what was it? Mm, 0.7, yeah. Uh, good students may not be appointed over 0.7 FTE at any time. If you work more than like uh, 0.50, like, if you work want to more, work more than like let's say 20 hours you get more payment of course uh, but the like the payment 
is kind of uh, determined in a way that like it's kind of like a um, minimum wage like you get a thousand hundred dollars every month so yeah that's like uh, if you are if you want to do your master's or PhD in University of Oklahoma uh, uh, like this covers pretty much everything that you need okay yeah that's it um, that's the graduate assistantships at University of Oklahoma so um, do you have, if you have any questions, you must, you might ask, you might ask, you're very welcome to ask uh, all, any of them. And the last one is JD Incoming Student Scholarships. This is for uh, students studying law, like for law school, and it's for PhD. It's a very specific scholarship, um, like it's law students, it par it's part, oops, hang on. It's for, uh, it's partial funding, uh, so yeah. Uh, like as you can see, must be incoming international students enrolling in the College of Law at the University of Oklahoma. You can get more information from uh, here. Well, I see you can get more information, but I but there's not that much information if I'm being honest here. Um, like as you can see, incoming student scholarships. Uh, we have the deadline. Uh, you don't again. You don't need to do like you need make a, a separate application. If you apply to law school as a PhD student, you're just automatically um, automatically uh, considered for this one. And committee typically distributes available funds based on academic achievement, successful performance on the LSAT and like low test and other life expenses. So yeah, um, you can get more information from here. That's pretty much it. Uh, like no numbers, they are doing their best to not give you any numbers. I mean, maybe at least some exemplary students like um, that might be, that could be more uh, useful. Oh, by the way, uh, hang on, let me see one thing. Again, um, now these are, nope, not this one. Yeah, I guess it's this one. Uh, now, um, now these are f the scholarships that university gives you, okay? And, uh, let me try to see. Oh, where was it? Okay, I'm gonna try to find. There was a link uh, that showed you like other opportunities to get uh, funding, not from the school, uh, but they had a blog, if I remember correct, correct, like a scholarship blog. No, not here. Um, I'm gonna try to find that one because that might be very interesting for you. Um, like the other places you can uh, apply to to get a scholarship, like they had a blog, blog sort of thing. Um, no, no not here either. Things like I forget where it was. Um. No, not this one. Not this one. Just, just, just hang on a little. Uh, I, I'm sure I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, here. Uh, GCOE and uh, scholarship and award blog. If you're, especially if you are planning to study engineering, um, like this is because this is uh, the College of Engineering, Gallup the College of Engineering. So you can see th this is a blog that you can click here and go uh, this shows you like other scholarships and awards it's like it's updated uh, there are different like uh, scholarships and awards here as you can see like spring 2024 student recognition award or something from as you can see US Department of Energy which is like which gives you like up to nearly a hundred thousand dollars of stipend so these are not obviously I'm showing you uh, can he apply here Probably you cannot, of course, apply to these heat right now. But if you go here and like see what kind of scholarships they have, maybe you can get an idea about like what kind of opportunities, like scholarship and funding opportunities, can you get um, 
like if you go to this school and study engineering right and they have a lot of these like um the scholars the school is quite kind of like quite interested in um a lot of engineering areas like a lot of scholarships are on engineering uh, programs like engineering astrophysics astrophysics and etc so yeah um for people who want to study engineering for people who want to uh are interested in sports as you can see this is the stadium like this is their uh sports team yeah that's it that's uh it's pretty much the school uh, and these are the these are all the um scholarship opportunities they have so if you're interested uh, in studying in usa studying in university of oklahoma this kind of gives you a better like more realistic and comprehensive picture of what's going on here um like a lot of schools ha has some specific flashy um scholarships titles that we also do we also give a lot of information on those uh, but i also wanted to give you like a specific school so maybe if you're interested maybe in, you're interested in this school or you just want to like if you go and s study on a school in usa uh what kind of opportunities can you get like as you can see there are not that many comprehensive scholarships that cover everything you might need uh but there are a couple and there are other scholarships that uh like cover a part just a part of your like so you can you can you can like look for more one more than one um scholarship opportunity um uh, if you are uh you know of course if you are aware of their existence so uh, if you're interested you can click on the first link that i've provided in the chat to see all the necessary information about this school so yeah and that's pretty much it for today this was the every scholarship this was every scholarship in um university of oklahoma so um that's pretty much it if you're interested in we are doing a live stream every friday so i i will kind of decide whether to do this or uh, go back to just uh trying to see the fine five best scholarships that that are that are available um based on your reaction like if you like this or if you like that more so yeah um that's it if you have any schools that you are interested in for us to showcase in the future uh let us know either right now in the comments or if you're watching this as a vod then you can write them down in the comments so we can see them too and so yeah that's pretty much it uh thank you for joining us for the for the live stream or thank you for joining us on the vod and we'll be here uh next friday i hope Eamon will be joining me uh next week also um in a couple of weeks jan will be back so he'll be joining me too um so yeah um if you're interested in scholarships or studying abroad we have a lot of videos very informative videos from tutorials um to more specific videos to more general videos so yeah uh, you might want to check them out and yeah see you in the next one Goodbye.